Hello Beetle lovers, I'm in the middle of my work to check the larvas of Goliatus regius. It's day 36, around three weeks since the last substrate change. So today I will check all the larvas and uh, write down all the, the weight of the larvas in my book to check the, the curve of development of this uh, larvas. And of course we also can see whether they have eaten everything that we presented them in the form of these cat food pellets. Yeah, that's the job for today. This is number eight here. Last time I didn't give any pellets because there were some left here. It was an L2 stage three weeks ago. So let's see whether she's already L3 now. It seems that she's not very active. Probably here in this edge there's a tunneling system but she didn't touch the pellets on the top so we can remove all of them here um, and see later whether we have to give some more and then we just have a look what happens here where she is where do we find the larva here it is it's still l2 but it is a uh, nice and big l2 larva as i already said in earlier videos uh, if they are around 10 grams but in the mold to L3 stage, that's a very good weight for a Goliatus larva. Let's see how much she is. I think she's not 10, but near close to it. 8.65. Also, that's a nice uh, weight for a L late L2 stage. And we see that this larva still needs development or some time. Because now the sign is... We found she didn't eat any pellets. They stopped eating before the mold, of course, because uh, th then the, the mouse parts, they don't work anymore. They get stiff and stiff, and then after they have molted, the mouse parts are soft. They are not hardened yet by drying of the kitty. So, so some days we will now probably wait till she starts to eat again. It's number eight, so we just give only one pellet to check it. It's 8.65 L2. We only give one pellet as a signal whether she started eating yes or no. And also here, if you want, you can for decorative reasons, you can add some flake soil here. This smells a little bit like a a leafy soil of the forest, sometimes probably they, they like it. It's not for their food, it's just for a decorative thing and um, yeah, because we love them too. It's like a flower pocket <laughs> for them. So one pellet I said, huh, for as a signal, that's this one. And then we move to the, we have written down everything. Yes, then we move to the next uh, box. Uh, here we have a one in another in another box. Last time I gave eight pellets two days ago so it's everything is eaten. We see the tunnels here. This was uh, a big larva three weeks ago. It was already 12.65 grams so it was already an L3. Let's see what happened here where she is. Oh look here she is. Yeah this really nice Full grown. Let's see. We want to check the weight here on our little weight scale. Now it's zero. Yes, that's it. Let's see how. Uh, this is 20 grams and 0.5. So that's the biggest until now. This is number. Uh, where is the box? Here's the box. This is number two. 20. On oh, five grams, it's L3. So she also gained around seven grams in the last three weeks. That's a good uh, development for the larva. I don't have to fear anything that she's not doing well or whatever. She looks great, nice. We can just give her back to her original substrate. We don't have to change it if we don't find too many of the unused pellets or or some of the fecal pellets you can just take them out now from from the substrate but we will change the whole substrate in the next uh, 
period around uh, three weeks and then we will uh, see how many of the unused pellets uh, we find here in the substrate also here if you like you can make a corner with flake soil they don't eat it really if you if you uh, look what they eat you will see they do not touch this uh, material uh, but now it's up to us to decide how many pellets we give so she started eating really well with eight so this time we give ten ten pellets 2.5 grams so if she eats that she will have a lot of uh, of uh, weight gain two five six seven eight nine ten okay that's it so everything that yes, we have written down everything it was a l320 yes, number two you have seen this already started making a new tunnel here this was number two so let me go to the next one here we added only one before zero so this larva seems to be in transition to L3 also it was big already 9.9 .9 grams three weeks ago so let's see what happened here I didn't add I had one pellet on top but it's this one possibly here that is untouched so she might be on the brink to L3 now here it is now she is already L3 now freshly molded as you can see here so she also made it to L3 here that's nice to see and we have to check the weight that is uh, freshly molded L3 with 12.2 grams 12.2 for number 7 so that's great so we can start giving some more pellets now because now she seems to be uh, coming back to the eating state and uh, yeah we can give her some new you see that I make this decorative corner for all of them now because that's like a, a little decorative gift for their home here number seven 12.2 gram so i don't give too much because she didn't eat before so that is one two three i start with four so if if she has eaten four then next time i can start giving some more otherwise we just leave some rotten pellets here that is not good yes and that's the job here for all of the larvas, uh, I do not. Uh, um, I do not want to make you bored because it, uh, it lasts too long. Probably one more before the battery stops. It was 11 pellets here. It was already an L3, so this must be a good larva also here. So where she is here, look, that's a nice Coleotus. Regus larva also. So uh, they seem very well and grown and I'm very happy to see them like this and also this is around 20 grams but not yet. It's now 16.8. That's it for the moment. Follow the channel, subscribe it. I will go on with this uh, documentation every two days or three days or one week. Thanks for watching.